Well, we are in one of my favorite states, Utah. I love this freaking state. Utah is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful state. So much different scenery here throughout the whole entire state. So right now we are in southwest Utah and we're at a place called Gunlock Falls. So we're staying a week out here at Gunlock Falls because there's just a lot to do in this area. But Gunlock Falls is known for its multiple waterfalls that they have here at the reservoir. And the waterfalls, they're not always flowing. Um, it all depends on how much snow the area got or if there's been thunderstorms with flash floods. And whenever the snow melts, that's when the waterfalls will be flowing. So, the waterfalls are flowing right now. Perfect time. So, I'm excited because I love waterfalls. So, we're going to go do some hiking and try to go see as many waterfalls as we can. And when I say we, I say, little one, come here. Come here. Come here. Little one. Are you ready to go hike? You want to go hike? Okay, we're going to go hike. Pretty. One of my favorite things in nature besides trees and mountains is waterfalls. And I'm actually staying right here by these waterfalls, camping out.
So, over the last month, it seems like I have been dealing with high winds everywhere that I have gone. Literally, for like the last month. <laughs> so, it's been a little difficult to try to film. Um, because in high winds, filming, it's hard to talk. I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me talking with a bunch of shh. <laughs> so yeah, it's been, uh, I can't believe everywhere that I've gone for like the last month, everywhere, it's, it's just been high winds. I really wish that I was, uh, like one of those film people. I wish I would have gone to like film school. Um, because it'd be so much easier to be able to make these videos into like a, a film form. Meaning, I could just film everything, show the scenery and stuff, and make it a film. <laughs> Does that make sense? But I'm just a YouTuber. That's it. Just a YouTuber. I'm not a... A film person. It'd be nice if I knew how to do that. Because it would make it so much easier. With all this wind and everything that I've been dealing with. It's been uh, difficult to cook in the wind. I'm going to try something out. Today though, I positioned my Jeep. Where when I open up my tailgate table. Because I cook on my tailgate table. So when I open up my tailgate table it'll be blocking the wind. So hopefully I can have a hot meal tonight by cooking that way. Cause this is getting old. <laughs> I swear, I think this time of the year is probably my least favorite time of the year because the weather is so wish-washy around this time of the year. Um, Especially over on the West Coast, you never know if it's going to be snow one day. You never know if it's going to be 80 degrees one day, or raining, or the wind. Um, and I swear, I have checked. I check the weather before I come to these places. So, I book out my places and research and figure out where I'm going for like three to four weeks in advance. So everything is planned out like three or four weeks out. Um, so obviously you can't predict, predict what the weather's going to be like in those three or four weeks. But even before I arrive to the next spot that I'm going to, I'll look up the weather just to see what it's gonna be like. And sometimes it will say, yeah, it's gonna be windy. But like here, where I'm at right now, it didn't say anything about wind, high winds. Um, I said it was going to be nice, no snow, no rain, and nothing about winds. Well, there's no snow, there's no rain, but there's lots of wind. <laughs> but I make the most of it, so. You got to. I'm tired of not being able to cook though, so I really hope that I'm going to be able to cook today. Because as of right now, it's been almost another week since I've had a hot meal.
Okay. Yum. So if you guys couldn't figure it out, it's actually rice, chicken thighs, smoked sausage, tomatoes, spinach, and then some spices. And it's good. It's delicious. And I was able to do it in the wind. I'm glad I thought about facing my Jeep where the tailgate would block out the wind. So, smart Sarah. Glad I thought of that. I know what some of you guys are probably thinking. You're probably like, you see all the cars passing by, and you're like, oh my goodness, are you camping like right off the road? Well, the campground is right by the main road, or this back road, sorry. But it's not like a really busy road, and I'm not really here during the day that much. And at nighttime, there's like no traffic. So... It's not bad. Oh, this is so good. Right now, I am just living my best life. I am focused on myself. I am falling in love with who I am. I am excited about where I'm headed, and I'm excited about what's next. I have so many dreams and so much ambition. I'm learning to be spontaneous. I'm learning to take risks. I'm constantly stepping outside of my comfort zone. Right now, I am just chasing the things that make me happy. I'm chasing the things that feed my soul. And to be honest with you, I could care less about what anybody else is doing. I could care less about what anybody else thinks. Because right now, my life is filled with so much peace, so much light, so much growth, and so much hope. And right now, I am just living my best life and there's absolutely nothing or no one that can get in the way of that for once in my life i am experiencing happiness in my life